Welcome family and to all my subscribers. Hi! So today we're going to be doing a quick 10 minute short but effective stretching session that's really aimed to prepare your body for birth. Stay tuned. These stretches are geared to really bring oxygenated blood down to your pelvic floor area, lubricating those muscles, preparing them for birth. Studies have shown that women who included pregnancy stretches experienced a shorter labor and also just had an overall better birthing experience. Some things you will need for this stretch will be a towel, a yoga mat, and of course some water. To warm up, you're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms by your side. Take a deep breath in and raise your arms above your head. And as you exhale, lower your arms and bend your knees into a semi-squat. We're gonna repeat this for seven breaths. And as you're getting that good stretch squatting down, I want you to make sure you're keeping your heels planted in the ground. First stretch, we're going to be doing the cat cow. You're going to come down to your hands and knees with your wrists directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. You're going to take a deep breath in, arch your back, bringing your belly button towards your spine. And as you exhale, you're going to round your back, bringing your belly button towards the floor. We're going to repeat this for seven breaths. This stretch is a safe position to really help tone your abdominal muscles and releases any kind of lower back tension. So our next stretch is going to be a superset. We're going to be going into the pigeon pose and to the downward dog. From the hand and knee position, you're going to bring your left knee towards your left wrist and slide your right leg back, keeping your right knee on the floor. If this is too intense, you can place that towel or if you have a blanket at home underneath that left hip. We're going to stay here for a few breaths and we're going to immediately go into the downward dog. going to go into that downward dog. You're going to plant that right foot down, bring that left foot back, leaving both hands on the ground for support. And we're going to alternate flexing each leg, making sure you feel that nice hamstring and calf stretch. And now we're going to be doing the pigeon pose on our right hand side. So you're going to bring that right knee down to that right ankle, leaving that left leg back and left knee into the ground. And if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, feel free to go down on your elbows, giving yourself that deeper stretch. And from there, you're going to bring that right foot back, planting that left foot in the ground, and you're going to go right into the downward dog, getting that hamstring stretch. Good job. If at any point you need to take a break, take it, but I use this time to grab some water. It's always key to stay hydrated, especially while you're pregnant. Our next stretch is going to be hip circles. 
So you're going to come back down to your hands and your knees with your wrists directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. So we're going to begin on the left side and I want you to imagine you painting the number zero with your hips and you want it to be even just a little over exaggerated just to get that extra stretch. And then of course we're going to reverse it and go from the right side now. And hip circles increases the flexibility in your hips and your lower back and improves the function of your pelvic floor. In our next stretch, we're going to be going into the butterfly. So you're going to sit on the floor with the soles of your feet touching and your knees bent out to the sides. Use your hands to gently press your knees towards the floor. If this is too intense, place either the towel or a blanket underneath your knees. And we're going to be here for seven breaths. I always like to get a nice little neck stretch in. But the butterfly strengthens and stretches the muscles in your back, thigh, and pelvis. It also improves your posture and improves the blood flow to your lower body and eases delivery. For our next stretch, we're going to be going into the child pose. So you're going to come back to your hands in your knee position. Sit back on your heels and with your arms stretched out in front of you, you can rest your forehead on the floor. And we're going to be here for seven breaths. The child pose is a great hip opener and spine lengthener. It's also one of the most relieving poses when taking pressure off of your belly. So our next stretch, we're gonna go into that low lunge. We're gonna get back into that hands and knees position and we're gonna start on our left side. So you're going to bring your left foot to the outside of your left wrist and you're going to sit up as if you're proposing to someone. I want you to get your feet nice and planted into the ground and we're going to move forward and backwards getting that nice deep stretch into your pelvis area. And we're going to do this for seven breaths. We're going to switch to the other side. You're going to bring that foot back, go into tabletop, and bring that right foot to the outside of your right wrist. And we're going to repeat for seven breaths. The low lunge is great at relieving tight hip flexors. And also, if you're in labor and labor has stalled, you can use this stretch. This really helps with positioning of your baby and dilation during labor. You're doing an amazing job. Take this time to take a break, get some water. I really want you to listen to your body. Our next stretch is going to be the hip opener. You're going to lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor and you're going to bring that right ankle up to that left knee and then you're going to bring your right hand and bring it to your left thigh pulling it to you and we're going to hold this for 12 breaths course what we do to one side we're going to do to the next so you're going to bring your feet back flat to the floor 
you're gonna bring that left ankle up and over to your right knee and you're gonna use your left arm to grab the back of your right thigh and we're gonna hold this for a total of 12 breaths Now you're gonna release from this position, placing your feet back on the ground. Doing these stretches can help prepare your body for labor by increasing your flexibility, reducing muscle tension, and improving your overall sense of well-being. Some of the stretches, such as the cat-cow stretch and hip opener stretch, can also help loosen up the pelvic area, which is very helpful during labor. So for our cool down session, if you're later in term, you can go ahead and put a towel underneath your neck. Place your hands on your baby. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Visualize and connect with your beautiful baby and send them energy of love, gratitude, and positivity. And I want you to stay in this peaceful state for 30 seconds. As always, please consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise routine. Congratulations, you've completed this pregnancy stretch. Remember to do these stretches regularly to stay flexible and reduce discomfort during your pregnancy. Connect with me on Instagram or TikTok at the Woman Doula Care. If you want to learn about all things pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and aromatherapy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join me next week for our pregnancy safe upper body workout. Bye!